Good morning, y'all, and welcome to Apron Strings. I'm so glad to have you in the kitchen with me. My name is Gay, and if this is your first time to visit, I hope it'll be the first of many times. I hope you'll subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hit that little bell so you'll know when I upload another video. I do lots of southern cooking, a little bit of grilling, some gardening, play the piano every now and then. There's a hodgepodge of videos on here and more coming up. But today, I've been invited to be a part of the Last Chance Cook-Off collaboration, and I'm going to make grilled portobello mushrooms. So I'm going to get you all over here to the butcher block so you can see the process, and then we'll get them on the grill, and then I'm going to eat some of them, and y'all going to wish you was here with me. Let me get you over to the butcher block and we'll get started. Make my marinade. I'm going to use a cup of Italian dressing and I like the um, zesty Italian. So I'm going to put a cup of that in my dish. And I'm going to get my measuring spoons. And I want about a teaspoon extra of Italian seasoning. Put that in. And I get this Tones Maple Garlic at Sam's. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of that in. I want a couple of tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. <clears throat> I want about three tablespoons of olive oil. I want a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Just to get some flavor on my mushrooms. I have uh, two cloves of garlic that I've minced. And I'm going to put some black pepper in here. I always get questions about my ratchet meal. I got this at Sir La Cobb, but I was told that now you can get them on Amazon. But it's a whole lot easier than twisting. Especially when you're getting as young as I am and your joints and your bones don't like to do all that stuff. Okay, let me get this stirred up a little bit here. And I want just a tad of salt, just a pinch. And I don't want that to go down in there. That's about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to taste it. Y'all do that? You have to taste of your marinade. What if you didn't taste of it and then you thought, yuck, what did I put in there? That's very good. So here's what we do. I have, I've cleaned the mushrooms. I wiped the top of them really well with a damp paper towel and I scraped most of the gills out. Now here's what we're going to do is... We're going to put them in this zip bag, but you want to put the marinade all over them. You want it all in them and on them and around them. And I'm going to grill these on a medium heat on the grill out there when I get them all said and done here.
And you can grill them for a little bit, bring them in and stuff them, and go back out and grill them the rest of the way if you want to. But I'm just going to grill these as a side dish today. And I'm going to tell you what, I could just about eat all of them. I love them. Mushrooms is not something that I grew up with. Mama didn't do mushrooms. And uh, there used to be a steak place called, I think it was Bonanza or something like that. And they had mushrooms that you could get. You could choose them as you went through the line to put them on your, on your, with your steak. And I fell in love. Okay, I'm going to fasten those up and I'm going to let them sit for about 20 minutes. I'm going to go get the grill on and then we'll go out there and put the mushrooms on the grill and we'll have us some mushroom steaks here in a little bit. I'm going to get my uh, grill on. Both of those burners are on. This one sometimes is for snickety and it won't light. I'm just going to leave it off. I'm just going to use these two and I want to have them on medium heat. Okay, I've got my burners on and I'm letting the grill heat up. I want it just medium, medium heat here. And I'm going to get the mushrooms on here in just a minute and grill them on each side about five minutes. And then we will take them inside and slice them up and show y'all what they look like. Okay, my temperature is up right at 400. And I know it's going to cool down when I open the grill. But I'm going to uh, get them on the grill and try to do each side. I I'll check it. But I think about five minutes per side. Then we'll have us some mushroom steak. I had some little ones. We go up to the mushroom, uh, Monterey Mushrooms in Madisonville, Texas and get mushroom compost for the garden. And uh, I can buy mushrooms there when we go. So I bought, or Troy got me two bags of portabellas and some of them, I only got a couple of real big ones. Most of them were kind of small, but I thought I'd go ahead and grill all of them because they'll all taste the same. They just won't be the same size. So I'm going to put the lid down, and it's down to 300 now, and I'm going to let them grill for about five minutes, and I'll turn them and grill them a little bit more until I think they're done. Then I'll get a platter and take them in the house and slice them up and eat them. Okay, my timer just went off for 10 minutes. I also put me some jalapenos on here to roast because I'm going to make some salsa after a while. And I'm also going to bring some onions out here to I'm going to grill some onions and some tomatoes after a while and make salsa. And I'll probably video that if y'all want to come back and watch it. Big old buddy stuck. I'm going to just do that side for about three minutes and then I'll be back and we'll plate them up. I hope y'all can see it's dark under the carport here, but I'm going to go ahead and take the mushrooms up.
I have these grill grates on here, and I have a fork that goes between the grates, but I didn't get it out this time, so they won't hop around on me. Okay, let's go inside. and get them um, cut up and taste of them. Okay, I've got the mushrooms in and I've got them all sliced. And I'll confess, I've already tasted and they're delicious. But let me <clears throat> get this camera back on the stand and I will taste of another piece because that that's just delightful. I don't mind doing that. I'll be glad to reach over here and get me a piece and taste of it. It's very, very good. All those flavors just soaked right. Mushrooms are like little sponges. And they just soaked up all that marinade and then grilling them. Oh, my goodness. This makes a good sandwich, too, if you'll. Uh, and it makes good quesadillas. Just the grilled mushrooms and your quesadilla cheese and then grill it. Oh, my goodness. You need to try that. And I may do that with some of these, too. Mmm. Very, very good. Now, <clears throat> most of the time when you think of grilled mushrooms, it goes with grilled steak. Yep, it goes real good with grilled steak. But there's a lot of other options, too, that you can use it for. So, I hope that you'll get you some portobello mushrooms and write down the recipe. It'll be in the description box below. There will also be a link to everybody that's participating in the collaboration. And if you've never visited their channels, or if you have, please go visit. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to them. Uh, that's the reward of us making videos on YouTube, is subscribers that watch. Because the way you make money on YouTube is according to your views. And I think watching the ads some. I don't know the whole thing, but... Uh, you make a little bit of money, and some people make a whole lot, but it helps to have subscribers that'll watch the whole video. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'll be right back here at this butcher block in a day or two with another good recipe. Meanwhile, go watch all the videos and enjoy the collaboration.